Hey folks, welcome back to the channel, welcome to a new video. And today we're going to look at creating a rule in Microsoft Outlook. You have a situation where you can see in the screenshot here, you send out a meeting invitation in Outlook. And then as people accept the invitation, you get these emails in your mailbox. Let's assume you don't want to receive those emails. Instead of just deleting them, we can have Outlook do that for us automatically. So I'm using Outlook 365, um, but the process is almost the same on previous versions of Outlook as well. I'm going to go up to the menu bar at the top here, and if you have this um, collapsed version, click on this drop down arrow here, and select Classic Ribbon. And then the option we're looking for is in the Move section of the bar here. We click on Rules. And we're going to go to manage rules and alerts. Now this is where you can set rules to do all sorts of things, email behavior. In this case, we're going to click new rule. And we're going to start from a blank rule in the bottom section here. Select the option to apply a rule on messages that I receive. I'll click next. And then the option we're going to pick from this list is this one here, it uses the forum name form. So we're going to click on the checkbox here. And then on the bottom pane, we're going to click on the form name. Change this to application forms. And then we're going to look for accept meeting response and click add. Now what this will do, this process we're going to go through in this video will automatically delete messages that are for meetings that have been accepted. Now you could do the same for a uh, tentative or um, if the meeting request has been declined or rejected. Now, personally for those other two, I would want to receive the email message that comes with it. If someone declines an invitation or marks it as tentative, there might be a reason why they're doing that. And a lot of people typically put the reason in when they do that. So I'm only interested in deleting the accepted ones just now. So click on close and you can see down the bottom we'll start to build the rule. Apply this rule when the message arrives, use the accept meeting response form. So we click on next and now we select the actions that happen when that message comes into our mailbox. Now the first thing that I would do is mark it as read and then we check the box to delete it as well. Now if you just do delete it, it will go into your deleted items over here and you'll get that count of deleted items in your, your bin, you know, um, and I don't want that. So I'll just mark it as read, delete it, and that way you don't know about it at all. It just goes straight into your bin. Click on next. You can apply some exceptions. Then click on next again, and then give it a name. Auto delete. I'm just going to move that to the start. So auto delete, accept meeting response. So we've got the option now to check this box and that will run the rule on any message that are in your inbox. So if you have any meeting accept in your inbox, this, this will do it straight away, which I don't. And then the, the second one is to turn on the rule. Click on finish. And then this is just giving you a message just like you know that this will only apply when Outlook is running. Click on OK and then that rule is now active. I can apply an OK. It takes us back here. Um, now what I would suggest doing is if you do apply this rule is um, apply the rule, give it a go and at the end of the day before you clear out your deleted items just go into that deleted items folder and just confirm that it's working OK. Um, if you do want to disable it do the same thing again, we can click on the rules, manage rules and alerts, and to disable it, you just check the box there and that won't be active anymore. Just check that box to keep it active. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.